So this is basically how a VTuber works. Hi friends! I hope you've all been doing well. Welcome back. Uh, if you have been keeping up with me on Twitch, where I stream live every week, or at least I try my best to, you would know that I debuted my VTuber. And if you don't know what a VTuber is, I'm going to introduce someone to you today to help me explain it. So, <laughs> let us welcome... Oh, where'd she go? Where is she? Where's my girl? Oh, there she is! <laughs> Here she is. Here is. Here is Cyber. So if you don't know what a VTuber is, a VTuber stands for virtual YouTuber. Some people also say V streamer, so a virtual streamer. And as you can see, whenever my mouth moves, her mouth moves too. So uh, I have two cameras filming me right now. Right, the 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 the, the, the one filming my IRL face is my DSLR camera, and the one that is picking up my face and tracking it, I have my phone camera for that, so that she can move as well. So yeah, I've got two cameras and it tracks like my eye movements so whenever i like look around and stuff and whenever i i blink it tracks that and when i move my body around slightly the the phone camera is able to detect that as well so this is basically how a vtuber works they use a tracking software there's a bunch of them so i'll be talking about them in a little bit and the tracking software is what they use to make these like quote unquote avatars move so they'll use them to stream create videos make tiktoks like any kind of content that you can think of online so it's not just exclusive to streaming and there are many kinds of vtubers as well they don't all look like anime girls for example there are vtubers who look like rgb lamps <gasps> oh! there is an orc vtuber let me see that crusty <laughs> please never say crusty again i'm sorry i said it again right. there's a tamagotchi vtuber no <laughs> A robot, <laughs> an imaginary monster friend, and purposely not watching it just to spite them. <laughs> There's even a cardboard box retail worker VTuber. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. Bam. Ah! So anything that you can think of the possibilities are endless with vtubers so the idea of vtubers have been around for a while i'm not entirely sure who the first one to do it was but one of the predecessors of vtubers is ami yamato who actually still makes content on youtube i think their last video was four months ago also in 2010 visual novel maker nitro plus uploaded videos of a 3d supersonic go sort of talking to the people watching the videos and in 2016 kizuna ai one of the biggest vtubers was born she sings dances plays games and she's actually how i first found out about vtubers i think it was the video collaboration that she did with joey the anime man and from there i just fell into the deep deep rabbit hole of vtubers now there are even big vtuber agencies like niji sanji and and Hollow Live. Both of these agencies started out in Japan and then branched out to other countries. And when Hollow Live started their English branch, I feel that's when VTubers really just exploded and gained notoriety. As of the filming of this video on 4 2021, one of the Hollow Live English members, Gaogura, is the second most subscribed VTuber after Kizuna Ai at 2.5 million subscribers, which he great grained <laughs> which he gains in less than a year it's it's really incredible but other than those in agencies there are also many independent or indie vtubers who've been around for a while all over the globe just like so many as for myself um i guess i would consider myself an indie vtuber but last year while we were on a long drive i was just 
thinking about life, having an existential crisis as we all do on long drives. And I thought about becoming a VTuber. So everyone has their own reasons for becoming one. For some people, they want to showcase their talents, be it singing or drawing or anything else without having their physical features be the main focus. They want their talents to be the main thing. So for other people, it can also be a confidence thing. Perhaps they don't feel confident showing their face. You know, it can be scary doing something like that online. So they use a VTuber instead. I've also heard of some people who play a character as a way to escape, to like take a break from reality. But for myself personally, Cyber is me. She is I. We are we. And I decided that I wanted to join this community because I just, I love it so much. I love all these amazing VTubers and I wanted it to be another way for me to spread some happiness around and another way for me to explore my creativity and i found that through this medium i've been able to let my personality shine a little more and to just be super open so another big thing is that i've found this to be a great way to share with others about j fashion because when people hop on my stream they'll be like why do you have so many hair clips in, in your hair there's like so much going on all these colors and stuff and then i'll tell them all about decora fashion and the other stuff as well. So I made a tweet about thinking of becoming a VTuber in September of last year. And then in December, an artist that I literally had just been following the day before made a tweet about wanting to create a VTuber. And if anyone was interested, and I, I just hopped on it. I went, I volunteered to tribute. <laughs> and then I debuted in March and here we are now. So the process of creating a VTuber is no easy feat. And there isn't just one way to go about it. You can be a 3D or 2D VTuber. Because I decided to go 2D, I will be mainly talking about that. But I recommend these videos if you are interested in learning about 3D. The three main things that you need to know about the process is that you need one, the art. So how the model will look like. Two, the rigging. This is how your model will move. Woo! Ooh, like that <laughs> and three the tracking software so this is how it will capture your irl face to make your url face your vtuber move before you get into all that thinking about the concept and design is very important you want to think about all the little details like if you'll have a typical anime girl look or not what is your character's hair color eye color no shape Will it even have a nose? Who knows? <laughs> On top of that, you will want to think about your character's personality and how it will tie in with the look. So I find that I personally enjoy it when I find a VTuber that has a personality I don't expect when I first look at the character. So for example, if they look scary, but they have a really sweet and wholesome personality. Alrighty, now let's dive into the rest of it. So first, the art. You can commission an artist to draw it for you, which will cost money and the price depends on the artist, but I've seen it go for around 100 to 800 ish dollars. Though you can draw the art yourself for free, but keep in mind that when drawing the art, you will have to um, have it drawn and cut up a certain way because it will affect the rigging that will happen later. And I'll link a guide about that below in the description. Next, the rigging. So just like with the art, you can commission someone to do it for you and for around the same amount, so about 100 to 800 ish dollars. There are even some people who can do both the art and the rigging for you so it'll be like a package deal the program that one would use to do it is called live 2d i have no idea how to use it and when i see people do it i'm just in awe because it's like it just seems so complicated and 
yeah whoever can do live duty you're amazing and then once you have your art plus rigging you'll need a software that can capture your motion your movements and to use these software programs they require a camera to pick up the motion so for some of them you would use your webcam for others all you need is your phone and for some other programs you can use both your webcam or your phone the programs available are prpr live base rig be up routine but my personal favorite and the one that I use is called VTube Studio. I and many others have found that the tracking with this software is pretty incredible and very accurate. There is a one-time fee, but it is very worth it. You can either use your webcam or your phone. You can even pin stuff onto your VTuber to make it look like it's wearing stuff. Here, let me, let me pin something real quick. <laughs> Let's see. Pin this onto the model. Like that. Hello. <laughs> well, let's try like okay, let's try pinning something else as well. And you you can like pin multiple stuff as well. It doesn't have to be just one thing. And put a bepis on the head. Like that. Yay! <laughs> you can also change the background. See. Like that. You can change it. And the developers for this program are great and are always working on making it better. Now that you have your art, your rigging, your tracking software, your awesome personality, what's next? Well, now it's time for you to create some funky content. You can stream on Twitch or YouTube by using OBS, Streamlabs OBS, or other live streaming software. So some people do a debut stream where they will share the lore, the backstory behind their character, do like a Q&A, make a PowerPoint about themselves, but a debut is not really necessary. You can honestly just start streaming right away if that's what you want to do. Or you could make YouTube videos, TikToks, post little clips on Twitter, whatever suits your fancy. There are a ton of resources and guides that I will link below that have more information about free assets, free props, free graphics, free background music, free games, a list of all the tracking softwares, list of artists who make art for VTubers, people who do rigging, 3D modelers, video editing, Discord servers if you have questions or want to meet other VTubers. Though I do highly recommend starting a Twitter because that's what many people use to showcase their own VTuber as well as to keep up with the rest of the community. And if this world of VTubing looks like something you're interested in, I encourage you to try it out everyone is welcome to the vtuber community i was a little nervous at first about joining but everyone that i've met so far in the community has been so lovely and i've made some pretty awesome friends if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i might try to do a part two answering them or even make like a top 10 tips kind of thing maybe if y'all are down <laughs> But thank you to all the VTubers who are featured in this video. Please check them out and support them as well. And thank you to you for watching this video, being awesome, and tolerating me saying VTuber about a gabillion times. <laughs> If you want to watch the backstory for my VTuber Cyber, I made a separate YouTube channel for her and you can check out that video on that channel and subscribe if you'd like. Alrighty, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Bye! <laughs>